what's going on guys my name is Keizo uh, and I am on my main character today um, my warrior Tarandu um, and we are in Black Rock Mountain currently and I am about to do my weekly molten core run I figured I'd go ahead and Glory take you guys to along the Sindori. for the ride. Almost everything I need for Thunder Fury. I need the right binding to drop, and I need to farm a few more of the enchanted elementium bars. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Alright. Put that up, put this up, make sure I got my gear on, battle stance. And I'm going to set a timer. You guys can see how long this usually takes me. I'm not even sure. I don't think I've timed it before. <laughs> but um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here, um, take out Magmandar, and is that Lucifer on somebody else there? Work my way down around this way, and then after I've cleared them all, I'll come back and hit Rag. So here we go. I can't see. I'm so glad I stopped running. Alright, so those are the first two bosses. And we're three minutes in. That's a pain in the ass. There's another one that's still pretty serious as well. It uh, decreases your health by like 30% or something like that. Brings me down to almost uh, 280,000 or something, something crazy. That's 
it's just gonna be so much win. Uh, somebody who raided Molten Core back in the day, I cannot wait. Just the fact of being able to come in here nowadays and just face roll this entire raid is just... It used to take us hours and hours to get this done. I can still remember the first time we dropped a rag as well, that was pretty intense. Alright, so here's, um, whatever his name is. Ganeus. So uh, in the comments guys, go ahead and let me know um, when was the first time you experienced Molten Core and what is your favorite or worst memory of Molten Core? This music still seems too loud. There we go. So I did get my left binding to drop off of Baron Geddon. We'll see if the right one drops off of Gar this time. Come on, Gar. That's why I can't find my Stormbolt ability, because I've got my fishing equipped to it. doesn't take me two years to get. RNG is, is a pretty brutal uh, mechanic at some points, even though it's not a mechanic. What am I talking about? Brutal just gameplay element. Now that's, that's two years of running it weekly. Um, like actually trying for the bindings. It took me actually two years of weekly running this raid. Which uh, some people will go, what the hell is wrong with you? But uh, I am determined to get the Under Fury. Uh, we'll wait for Baron to come back. Drop yet. Sail the Arch Magus, Arch Magus, Arch Magus. I butcher every sort of name possible in this game. Alright, got some fellow heart slippers there, Arcanist gloves. Can't wait for the Corehound mount either. That's gonna be pretty badass. Unfortunately, I'm not in the beta, so I don't know what it looks like yet. I haven't even really looked it up. I just know it, it's gonna be around. I don't like to look things up uh, beforehand. That's why it kind of ruins the whole wow element when you actually figure out what's going on or see it. Uh, you can die. side here. Fail heroic leap. Blade storm. And Golmag is down. Get him in that lava core. Earth the furry vestments. Those used to be pretty badass. So they're still actually pretty badass for transmog set for shaman. Chest piece and a little trinket. 
Uh, now when I'm running this, I do pick up all the epics just to sell. Um, I mean, some of them I may keep. I, uh, I am going for a Lawbringer transmog set, so I will keep, uh, keep those shoulder plates. I'm not sure about the, uh, the might stuff, though. That's, that tends to be one you see a lot. We're at almost 10 minutes in, and we are almost done. And just to let you guys know, my gear level isn't really that great. I've got 524 equipped right now. Um, for farming, I've got a mix of, of my Grievous gear and uh, some, PV, or some PvE stuff, like my Curse. Um, and just random stuff that'll increase my, uh, my stamina and stuff like that. Just for uh, farming purposes. soon so uh better video better everything um i'll be able to crank the settings because i'm gonna go all out and just buy a totally badass machine uh so uh look forward to that that should be coming in a couple months um two months maybe for me to save up enough and um Again, I don't know how many of you follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, I did have a request from a few of my subscribers to set up a Patreon uh, page, which I have done. And actually, the link, if you look on the top of my uh, page over in that direction, um, I do have it linked. There's a tab there that you can click on, brings you over to the Patreon page. Um, please, everybody, do not feel as if you need to support me in that way. I've been on YouTube for six years now, uh, making videos for the fun of it. Um, I'll continue to make videos with or without uh, Patreon support. Um, it, it was requested by a few people, though, and I really appreciate those people uh, for supporting me. Um, I know a couple of them have been subscribed for almost the entire six years that I've been on YouTube. So definitely appreciate you guys. I wish I had actual boots on this tune. My hooves get in the way. Again, I, like I said, I will be getting a new computer soon. I am running off of a potato computer at the moment. That's why I need to have my settings turned down as much as they are uh, when I'm recording. And that's probably why I'm only getting uh, 15 frames per second while I'm recording. Like I said, potato computer. But that will be no longer uh, quite soon, so fun stuff. Alright, so about, we'll be out of here before 20 minutes is over.
standing on a completely flat piece of ground and heroic leap will still not work. It'll just say no path available. You cannot use that here. No path available. There's no path available. Typical, it tends not to work, especially when you need it the most, like when you're falling off of a cliff or when you get thunderstorms off of a cliff. Okay, I've been disconnected from the server. Brilliant. issues, server issues. Yeah, that's crazy. Really? Oh, great. So it's gone offline. Oh, now it's back on. Bunch of servers just dropped. Let's see if it's back on. So much for that 20 minute run. <sighs> WTF, Blizz, WTF. this time
<laughs> like that. Um, and now I'm swimming in lava. There we go. Alright, let's do this. My timer has disappeared, so we don't actually <laughs> know how long this has taken. This is a brilliant video. Pick those up for the hell of it. On Rag, where are you? Behold, Ragnaros, the Fire Lord. He who was ancient when this world was young. Bow before him, mortals. Bow to him soon. Got to admit, Rag looks so much more badass in Firelands than he does here. Seek to steal your secrets. You allow these insects to run rampant in the hollow core. Now you feed them to my very lair. You have failed me, Executives. Justice shall be met. My DVM timer isn't working. guys in about 20 minutes uh hope you enjoyed uh i will be doing this well i won't be recording it every week but i will continue to run this until i get uh the rest of what i need uh do, 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 do. so i got one binding i've got the essence i need the other binding and i need i think two more um enchanted or the uh the elementium bars there to uh and then i gotta smelt those and I will be good to go, which is awesome. I've been waiting so long to get Thunder Fury. And then I will actually be able to say in trade chat, Thunder Fury, Blessed Blade of the Windseeker. Yes. All right, guys, uh, once again, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys, take care.